You might notice if you're on a low carb diet or you're in ketosis that you have a hard time sleeping. So this is a problem that's plagued me for a long time. And I realized if it's causing an issue with me, it's probably causing an issue with some other people. So I put it out there to the universe, I put it out there to my networks, and lo and behold, a lot of people deal with poor sleep while they're on a very low carb diet. So in this video, I'm gonna give you two very clear problems that cause that issue, but I'm also gonna give you two very clear solutions. So I wanna make sure you listen to the entire video because it is going to help you, I promise. But before I can get into the intricacies of how that works, I have to explain really quickly for those that are just joining in what ketosis is. So you see, ketosis is when you deprive yourself of carbohydrates to the point where your body runs on fats for fuel. Essentially, you've depleted all of your glycogen stores and all of your glucose to the point that your body uses free fatty acids and converts them into something called ketones. Your brain ends up running on those ketones when it's in the absence of carbohydrates and you essentially feel good and use fat for fuel. It's just an alternative way to burn energy. But we get into some of the negatives, like insomnia. And you all know what insomnia is. You've heard it before. And there's obvious causes of insomnia. So we have things like anxiety, things like depression, things like any kind of substance abuse or mental issues at all. And then, of course, there's simple things like caffeine and stimulants that can cause a sleep issue. But what about carbohydrates? What about the lack of carbohydrates as a sleep issue? Well, you see, it comes down to something called tryptophan. Now, what tryptophan is is an amino acid. Now, it's an amino acid that's very important, however, because this amino acid, tryptophan, converts into serotonin. Well, it doesn't quite convert into serotonin. It helps produce serotonin. And serotonin is the feel-good neurotransmitter. And it's the neurotransmitter that helps you relax, calm down, and is also a precursor to another neurotransmitter known as melatonin. And you've probably heard of melatonin before because you can buy it in a tablet that helps you fall asleep. And melatonin regulates your circadian rhythm. So you kind of start doing the math. No tryptophan equals less serotonin equals less melatonin equals poor sleep. So that's how we start coming to the equation that we don't really get enough tryptophan when we are on a low carb diet, or at least we're not absorbing it into the brain. So you can kind of get the gist that carbs are known as comfort food for multiple reasons. One, they taste good and they might be some comfort, but two, they literally do help you feel more comfortable by helping you produce serotonin. So there's the problem, okay? We're not getting enough tryptophan into the brain. So how do we solve this issue? Well, for one, you could take a tryptophan supplement. I mean, studies have shown that if you take a tryptophan supplement, it can help sleep. But the other thing that you can do is consolidate your carbohydrates to the evening time. You see, when you're in ketosis, people have the common misconception that you don't have carbs come in at all. Well, the thing is, most people can still have between 30 and 60 grams of carbohydrates. What you want to do is allocate those to the evening time so you get a nice little insulin spike in the evening that allows the tryptophan from the protein you're consuming to enter into the brain and consequently help you relax, get that serotonin produced, and help you fall asleep and stay asleep. Because that's the other factor, is staying asleep. There have been studies that have proven that very low-carb diets are associated with shorter amounts of REM periods of sleep by total ratio of sleep. So basically meaning if you sleep for eight hours, you might only get two hours of REM sleep on a low carb diet, where on a non low carb diet, you end up getting like four hours of REM sleep. So if we can increase the duration of that REM cycle, then you feel better, you feel more alert, and ultimately your fat loss and weight loss goals are gonna be better too. Let's talk about issue number two, okay? This is the one that nobody's talking about. And I'll tell you why nobody's talking about it, because it involves a little bit of work in terms of science. And people don't like that, they want quick fixes. Well, let me make it as quick as possible for you. They're called histamines. Maybe you've heard of an antihistamine before, Benadryl, Claritin, something like that that you'd take for your allergy problems. Well, what is a histamine? You see, a histamine is a byproduct of a cell. It's a chemical reaction that occurs when your body has an immune response to something that it feels is a foreign substance. So something that's normally harmless to the body, let's say maybe something like pollen, for instance, should be harmless to the body. If your body sees it as a threat for any reason, it's gonna see it as harmful, and it's gonna cause a series of chemical reactions that cause the immune system to trigger the cell to produce histamines. Well, these histamines can alert you. They can make you wired. If you've ever taken an antihistamine like Benadryl, then you know it makes you drowsy. If antihistamines make you drowsy, then simple algebra tells you that histamines might wake you up. Now, heavy amounts of protein on a ketogenic or very low carb diet cause a big influx of histamines. We can't really avoid it. So we do need to be able to keep that under control. How do we do that? Well, 
The bad news is we can't totally keep it under control. But what you can do, and this makes a big difference, and I tried it myself and it helped me tremendously, was making sure that the foods that are extra high in histamines are only consumed in the morning and not at night. So here's what some of those foods are. We're looking at fermented and smoked meats, okay? We're talking about smoked salmon, like lox, stuff like that. We're talking about the sardines that I always rave about. We're talking about canned mackerel, even some canned tuna. We really wanna avoid a lot of the processed canned meats in the evening time simply because they're higher in histamines. But additionally, the fermented dairy. So the kefir that I'm always talking about, even that, okay? Then we also wanna be aware of the things like uh, Greek yogurt, stuff like that, even traditional yogurt right in the evening time, even though they sometimes make a perfect dessert. Now, mind you, if you're not having issues with your sleep, these are perfectly fine. But if you're someone that is struggling with the sleep, might be the first things you remove from your evening meals. Now, last but not least, you can always try taking an antihistamine, something like Benadryl. Typically speaking, since they act on a different mechanism within the body, you do not build a tolerance to taking an antihistamine. Not something I ever recommend getting in the habit of. I hate taking over-the-counter medication and try to avoid it whenever possible. But an antihistamine might be a solution that helps you feel a little bit more rested. Now, last but not least, of course, is adding a little bit more salt to the diet and making sure you're hydrated. Because for me, I wake up thirsty a lot when I'm in ketosis. So these are just a couple little tricks that you can implement. But I promise if you try them out, you will sleep better. It comes down to understanding how the body works how the body sees a low carb diet, and the simple modifications and variations of the diet that you have to apply in order to get yourself as rested as humanly possible. Please make sure you let me know if you have any ideas on videos. I love hearing your ideas. I love hearing what you wanna hear about and how I can help you out with these videos. And as always, leave a comment where you're watching from and all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next video.